Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alan. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Michigan. And today we're going to be going over what sold in the second week of September. First off, we have this vintage Back to the Future box set. I got this at a garage sale. It was a $5 filler bag. And it is actually um, in my first video that I ever posted here on YouTube. So check that out. Uh, the buyer paid $22.99 plus shipping on top. And these were shipped media mail cost me about five dollars and 85 cents next up I have a hundred pack of HP photo paper these were given to me by a buddy and so I have nothing into them they sold for 949 plus 350 shipping on top next up we have grind fingerboards tuning bag travel bag these are something that I sell for my fingerboard company and they conveniently hold your little fingerboards right in here so this sucker sold for eight dollars and fifty four cents plus shipping on top next up I have this hue animation station uh, stop-motion animation kit I guess you could say uh, comes with everything picked this up at a garage sale a couple weeks ago for five dollars and sold for thirty six seventy five plus shipping on top shipped out priority mail and a padded flat rate envelope and cost me seven dollars and forty two cents uh, next up, we have a Horror Clicks Yama number 95. It's a unique from the Freak Show booster pack. I picked up a, close to about 500 of these for $150 in a big lot. Most of them are only worth a buck or two, but this one was worth three or four, so it sold for $6.64 free shipping. It cost me about $3.18 and it was shipped out first class at a four ounce rate. Next up, we have some more grind fingerboard stuff. This is a set of 32 millimeter trucks and it comes with free two, two free sheets of grip tape a tool some pivot cups lock nuts and all that good stuff this one sold via promoted listing for fourteen dollars and twenty four cents and free shipping cost me about three dollars and eighteen cents to ship all the way to california first class at a four ounce rate next up i have this brand new sealed lego city coast guard set i scooped this up at a garage sale about a month ago for two dollars sold for ten dollars and ninety eight cents plus shipping buyer paid four dollars for shipping and it cost me around four dollars to ship out but at an eight ounce rate first class mail all right next up i got a pair of tommy hilfiger spirit skinny jeans these were women's jeans size eight i scooped these up at a local thrift store for 50 cents on a green tag sale day um, they have different colors every week and this week was the green tags so i go through all the different pairs of jeans and I find all the ones with the green tags that are in excellent condition and are a good name brand and I get them for 50 cents a piece so these ones sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top buyer paid $8.15 and I was able to fit these into a padded flat rate envelope for $7.42 all right next up we have a six pack of pure water filters mineral clear replacement filters and I scoop these up at a garage sale that you'll see I think in my second video I posted here I got these for five dollars and they sold within a week for thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping on top they did not fit into a padded flat rate envelope but I was still able to send them via pirate ship for around nine dollars so still pretty good deal there all right next up we have a pack of doTERRA natural deodorant this is a pack of deodorant that I got with my order from doTERRA and I didn't like it and I had a second one that I got as well. So since I didn't like it, I figured I'd sell it. This one sold for $9.99 plus $3.50 shipping on top. Next up, we have Grind Fingerboards CNC Lathe Fingerboard Wheels. These are just the little wheels that go on the fingerboards right here. Some of you guys may know these as, as Tech Decks, but um, nowadays it's a little more advanced. So uh, this buyer bought four sets of them for $22.76 and they paid $3.50 shipping. I was able to ship them for $3.18 via first class at a forearms rate. All right, next up we have some more grind fingerboards wheels. These ones are the molded bearing wheels and they bought five sets for $35.60 plus $3.99 shipping. And again, I was able to ship these first class at a forearms rate for $3.18. Next up, another Grind Fingerboards travel bag. You guys have seen me selling these a lot. I keep them in stock. I have black and camo, and this one sold for $8.54 $8 plus $3.50 shipping. 
Next up, we have some more Grind Finger Boards products. These are the ABAC 7 bearings that go inside of the wheels. They're the little bearings that make the wheels spin. So this person bought two sets of four for $15.20 and they paid $3.50 shipping on top. All right, next up I have a set of brand new genuine Inline Pro 2000 speakers. These are like computer speakers. I scooped this box up at a garage sale before I started vlogging and I paid $5 for the box. It sold for $26.59 free shipping and they cost me about $8 to ship out. Next up we have some Grind Fingerboards black inverted king pins. Again, on the fingerboards, the inverted kingpin is this little tiny screw that you see right here that holds the trucks, the hanger onto the base plate. So um, some people like to upgrade their trucks and put in different colors. So I sold three sets of these for $5.70 and they cost $3.50 to ship out. Next up we have another set of Grind Fingerboards silver inverted kingpins. Same exact ones as I sold before except for their silver and two buyer paid $3.80 plus $3.50 shipping on top. Next up we have the Wing Feather Saga books one and two. These I got from a friend who donated a bunch of books and so I had nothing into these and check and sold comps they were selling for around 20 bucks free shipping so I went ahead and listed these ones for $16.95 plus shipping and they sold for $16.95 plus $3.86 shipping. I was able to ship them out via media mail, so it only cost $2.80. Next up, we have a lot of two relics, fidget cube, anxiety, fidget spinner things. Uh, these, again, were a gift I got from a friend that donated a box of stuff that she didn't want. And she said, do with them what you will. She knows that I, I'm an eBay reseller, so she hooked me up with a bunch of really cool toys and just random knickknacks and stuff here and there. So. Um, nothing into these and these sold for $8.49 free shipping. I was able to ship them first class at a four ounce rate to somewhere pretty close so it only cost $2.78 to ship. Next up we have a pack of Marvel miniatures Professor X and Future Magneto. These are little figurines that I actually got a couple of years ago. I got a big bin of toys for my kids paid $50 for the bin and there was hundreds of toys in there. So I've sold quite a bit of the ones that my kids don't play with, this being one of them that was new in the package. I had them listed for $6.99 plus shipping on top for almost a year now and somebody shot me an offer of $3 and I said what the heck and I just accepted the offer and uh, they paid $5.45 shipping. I was able to ship them at a four ounce rate first class for two dollars and seventy eight cents so I made a little bit of money on the shipping but still not having much into these still a decent little profit and last but not least we have a white Xbox 360 bundle this I scooped at a garage sale about a month ago before I started vlogging again and I got this whole set I got everything for 20 bucks so it was a really good deal I brought it home tested it and made sure everything worked and it did, so I threw it up for $99.99 plus shipping on top. And I'm running a 10% off sale right now, so it sold for $89.99 plus $14.95 shipping. And I was able to ship it via FedEx for about $18. So I lost a little bit of money based on what the buyer paid me, but I still made pretty good profit on the item overall. So I think it was a, a good scoop. Took a little longer than I thought to sell, but I kind of priced it a little higher because there were four controllers, two being wireless, and I was willing to wait it out. It also had 120 gig, gigabyte hard drive, so I, I thought it was worth it and I priced it pretty competitively. I got two more things that sold today. First off is going to be this Brutalist Richard Bell Smith Brass Bonsai Tree Sculpture. This is super cool. I've had it for, I don't even know, eight years, ten years. I bought it when I lived in Arizona at an estate sale. I have no idea how much I paid for it. I can't remember. It's probably like 20, 30 bucks. But um, I had no idea what this thing was or who the artist was. And I, until I started doing some research, I realized that they actually go for some pretty good money. So I had this thing listed for $449.99 for the past probably three or four months. I had somebody hit me up, shot me a message about it, asked a couple questions, and I responded to their questions with some extra photographs and sent them an offer for $350. The offer was good for two days. After about 36 hours, they accepted the offer and paid $350 plus 
plus $3.99 shipping. Obviously, this thing cost me more than $3.99 to ship out, but I was able to ship it for around $9 using Pirate Ship. Last but not least, a bag of fingerboard pivot cups. This is another grind fingerboard product that I sell, and the pivot cups are these little tiny things that go right at the end of the truck. They're where the hanger connects to the base plate, and it's the little pivot point, hence the name pivot cups. These are super cheap. I get hundreds of bags of these for nine bucks. So they sell for super cheap, $3.99 free shipping. They normally cost me about $2.78 to ship out. Most I'll ever pay for shipping is $3.18. I have a dime into these max. So is it really worth it profit wise? Probably not, but I like to hook up my grind fingerboards clients with good deals and a bag of these will last you forever. And it's just a single, I made one listing and I'll have that listing up forever. I'll continuously be able to sell them. And they just, they're always, always selling. I think in the long run it's worth it. If I was just listing one of them, I probably wouldn't do it. But it is what it is and we gotta keep things moving, keep things in the store, keep making sales. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's What Sold video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you learned anything from this, make sure you drop a like, give me a thumbs up, share the video, drop a comment if you have any questions or anything. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.